morning everyone i hope you're well um i started this morning off with some yoga and just some cleaning up the kitchen just to get my mind right um and i'm actually making pancakes right now so i'll just talk i'll talk through my day as i'm making um as i'm making these um but yeah i've actually been trying to calorie calorie count recently because i'm trying to lose a little bit of weight um but i'm not gonna do that every day that's just i just can't I think you sometimes need a bit of a cheat day or a cheat meal. Um, and I don't want to calorie count forever. It's just for a period of time whilst I'm doing this. Um, but I'm waiting, so I'm getting my lashes done today, which I'm so excited about. Because I want to wear less makeup, but I feel like when I don't wear any makeup, I look like a bald egg. <laughs> Especially when I've got my hair um in a bun i've got this really weird piece of fluff of hair that just always sticks out and i can never slick it back no matter how much like i literally need to pin it down because it's just it's just a weird piece of hair but yeah um i um so i'm getting that done today i'm really excited and i've got a few packages coming so i got some stuff from the zara sale um i actually so the sale started on on the zara app at nine I think it was on Wednesday at nine o'clock. Throughout the day, I had been saving all my things that I wanted to get like, ready to take them from my wish list into the basket. Um, and then went on the app at like 9.02, literally like two minutes after it started. And half the things were out of stock or sold out. And I was just like, oh. so I think I only got like three or four things, um, which is fine, but you know, I wish I'd got more, but it was just sort of out of stock. Um, so now, so I'm, so I'm waiting on that. I'm also waiting on a Selfridges package because I've recently left my job and uh, my colleagues just as a leaving present gave me a Selfridges uh, voucher, which is really lovely. Um, and I'm also waiting on some makeup. So I also got some makeup. So I've had a bit of a shopping spree this week. Um, gosh, got some showing in my bowl um so yeah i'm just waiting on a bunch of those packages and i'll i'll show them all to you once they come does anybody else use two pans at the same time to make pancakes i know this one's a little burnt i actually think this pan's a bit too hot but um oh gosh, yeah. um i actually use two pans just to make it quicker makes sense <laughs> so in terms of toppings with my pancakes i'm very it's always the same it's it's always sweet or sweet and salty so like bacon and maple syrup or just chocolate spread sometimes i would do strawberry jam but i'm never like a lemon and curd lemon and sugar kind of person um but today i just chopped up some nuts i've got some uh, nutella on top there and then i also the other day when i went to the office i got a porridge from mcdonald's and i got it with um golden syrup but instead of golden syrup they gave me their pancake syrup um, so I kept it because I just thought, well, it'll just be nice to have on pancakes and it'll be a bit of like a McDonald's pancake breakfast, just homemade. But yeah, so I'm going to add this on top and uh, yeah, it'll be so delicious. I can't wait. Hi everyone, it's been a while since I last filmed for this vlog and that's mainly because I was waiting on my Zara packages to come back um, but also life just got really busy and I feel like the world's just been crazy since I last filmed um, so first of all in America Roe versus Wade got overturned which is just insane and I just I, the day that that happened I was just so sad I just cried I just I, I just couldn't there's just no words and what makes it even worse is that I think in a couple of weeks before <clears throat> in one of the states um the supreme court overturned another law around gun control and um made it more accessible and um made it easy to buy guns I think I'm not 100% sure of, on the detail but I remember at the time it just made me think like when people say that women that guns have more rights than women in, in America that it's just true and I think I keep seeing tweets like um if 
men could get pregnant and abortions would be available at Target and it's just it's just so true and it's so sad and I feel so sad for all the women in America and I think all the other countries where abortions are still illegal um it's just really really sad and it just really put me down and I didn't want to do anything and didn't want to film anything that whole weekend I was just really sad and I think in the UK it feels like there's not really much I can do like there's no protest there's no I can donate money but I, I can't vote for any like I can't do anything I can't actually make any real change so yeah I just I think my thoughts were with that and then to be fair like UK politics hasn't been better it's like politics in UK and America have had a year's worth of stuff with like five years worth of stuff happen in a space of two weeks UK politics is a shambles I, I don't even want to talk about Boris it's all too much his leaked invoices today with a cherry on top of the cake and now I have to sit through and watch all the other I don't even want to call them anything rude I feel like it's quite mean but I, I all the other candidates that will come up for the leadership contest they're all incompetent they're just characters I do not align with I find them despicable I find everyone in that party everyone who was part of that leadership everyone that was part of that government horrific not only incompetent but just morally like despicable what they have done is just horrific so yeah it's, it's been a bit of a downer <laughs> it's been a bit of a downer um whilst i was waiting for these packages to arrive but now they're here and i wanted to share them so with that i have my zara box here um and i'm not going to show the front because it's got my address on it and stuff so this was all in a sale and I know that the stuff in the sale went really quickly so I don't know if this still will be available um, but I'll link it anyway just in case it comes back in stock. So first off I got these um, white linen shorts, um, they're almost like a paper bag style at the top with a drawstring um, to, to accentuate the waist. They're nice. They um, they they seem quite breathable. I need to test them with different pairs of underwear to see if they're see through. I still I'm not sure on that. I'm always really cautious when wearing white on my bottoms. It's tricky. But they're a really nice length. They fit really well. I went with a medium. They're really comfortable. Um, the cotton is quite soft. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is the actual drawstrings. Um, I, I kind of wished it had just been an elasticated ba band <clears throat> on the waist, but it's fine. Um, I think this will be really nice on holiday, on beach days, or just on really hot days around the house. Number two, and I think this is my favourite purchase from this whole thing, is this backless crop top. It's so stunning it's very creased it gets very creased but the back is stunning it's satin so it's really soft it's 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 really nice and comfortable to wear It'd be perfect for really hot weather um and the thing that i love about this is when i put my arms up it doesn't rise up it's long enough to cover my boobs um and sometimes that is a struggle with these shorter crop tops where they don't stay in place but this one does pretty well um with just holding out in place and um yeah being really comfortable to wear so definitely something that you could wear on a night hour you dance but you're moving about you wouldn't have to be so self-conscious that you're going to flash people uh so yeah i love it i can't wait to wear it i'd love to wear it with like just a pair of skinny jeans um heeled sandals hair slicked back and a red lip i think it'd be so gorgeous and it'll be perfect for summer and finally, I didn't get a lot of stuff from Zara, from Zara sale, as I said, that most stuff went out of stock by the time I got to it. But it's this um, summer dress. I think, well, yeah, everything I got in, in the haul is white, very summery. But it's this long 
um, summer dress. I was worried that it'd be really revealing, um, but it's actually fine. I was, I thought that if I wear it to work and into the office, I might have to put another top on underneath just to hide the cleavage because it looks really low cut. But when you put it on, it actually doesn't look so bad um, or so revealing. It's um, cotton, I believe. Let me just check. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. Uh, so again, perfect for those really warm summer days. Um, and I don't really have a really cute summer dress like this. I've just been really wanting one for the summer. Um, feels very like, um, just cute and not tight and not bodycon and not, you know, uh, revealing. So I think it's just, it's just, it's gonna be a really nice one. Yeah, one to wear in the office, but also on like cute summer days, picnics, days out. So yeah, gorge, love it. I also did a little order in Selfridges. So um, they were also having a sale, but I didn't get what I got from them from their sale. And the things that I got from Selfridges is a skims top, a, a bodycon top, which I've wanted for the longest time. I was a bit worried when it arrived because um, it came in this tiny little package and um, I've seen the TikToks of some girls trying on the shapewear um, and and it looked so tiny so I was a bit like oh gosh like I hope this actually is as stretchy as people say because I've also I've, I've heard amazing things about skims and it is actually sensational like it's so good it is so stretchy but it doesn't get see-through as it stretches. So in like, I find this with most tops and dresses and kind of clothes that I wear, where they <clears throat> are stretchy, they become very thin and see-through. This is already so thin and so soft. And when it stretches, it doesn't become see-through. So I, when I, I actually wore this over the weekend and I didn't feel the need to wear like nipple covers because you really can't see them. Buttons at, at the bottom, the poppers, they hold. When they when the bodysuit arrived, they were popped like closed. And I really had to struggle and put all my strength into undoing them. Um, Cause there's, there's nothing worse than sitting down and feeling your popper <laughs> um, und undo itself. Um, but so this, it won't happen with that. It's kind of like, it's not, it's, it's slightly lower cut on the back. So I, w I wouldn't wear a bra of this, but like I said, I don't, I think because it's so tight, it feels really supportive and you don't need it. It is not shapewear though. Um, she, Skims have their actual shapewear line for like sucking you in. I'm definitely gonna get more stuff from there. Yeah. It, it was everything I'd hyped it up to be. The other thing I got was the Chanel uh, bronzer, the Les Beige bronzer. This is the new version. I don't have the old version. I never had. I never had it, so I don't know if it's any better or any worse. I've seen different opinions on on this um, on YouTube and on TikTok. I like it though. I I personally love it. Um. I just think it, it it melts into your skin. It blends so easily. It's a huge tub. I've already used it a couple of times. I was just so excited. I just, I love it. Um, it says it's got a 12 month shelf life, but I'm really hoping that it lasts longer because it's, I could never get through this in 12 months. Um, so yeah, actually a really successful haul overall. I also got a couple of things from Charlotte Tilbury. But I'm still not, I've, I've got the beauty ones, which everyone has. So I got the con contour one and the light pink wand. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about them. I think they were so hyped up that I was slightly disappointed. I think the bronzer, the contour sh shade is sensational, but I'm just not sure about the blush. And I think that was the one that everyone raved about. And I don't know, I just didn't feel like it works on my skin. I didn't feel like it looked as nice as I expected it to. That could be me though. That could be the way I worked it in, how I applied it, how I 
what I applied it over it might have just not worked on that day so I'm going to try a few more times and then make my um yeah decision on how I feel about it and the other thing you get you always get a sample when you buy from Charlotte Tilbury so I got the magic cream and the magic night cream it has broken me out so badly it gave me that spot there it gave me a spot here it's literally broken me out i only used it for like one night one day and one night i would not recommend it i would advise people with oily skin and acne prone skin to not go anywhere near that cream because it oh god now i have to sort this out and it's long like made me not even want to try the light version of it like i don't even i don't want either I don't want any of it. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I feel like this is very much a haul based kind of vlog. It basically was a haul. I really didn't do much else. But going forward, hopefully I'll do a few more sit down chatty talking videos because I do actually really enjoy it. And there's things I have to say on a lot of issues like the whole Johnny's Amber Heard court case. The things I'm seeing on Twitter and the analysis that I'm seeing, the support that Johnny Depp is getting is unwarranted and it's not right. And I, I'll save it for the video, but yeah, um, I'll have more of kind of that kind of stuff coming up. Thank you for watching if you lasted until the end, and I will see you soon. Bye.